In this tutorial, so we're going to look inside the world machine, how we can create these craters uh, that we can use inside the Vue Terrigen or some other programs uh, with high field map. Also, you can see distribution for the teeny tiny rocks example, or the flow map and the deposit map. So all these different kind of also textures or splat map distribution. So we'll look inside the tutorials how we can uh, simply create this crater type area with the large craters, teeny tiny small ones and all those different sizes. Okay, so before we begin working on our project, let's look what it actually can create like a craters. And we can go look inside the generators. And you'll notice if we have a overnight type of the um, noise, it is somewhat look already like craters. So we'll go right here, maybe just decrease size for now. Okay, and let's preview. And you can see right here, this is we can use as a crater because they already have it somewhat shape. Only what we need to do, it kind of add them. Okay, so let's start with this one. Okay, let's open properties by double tap clicking. And we'll just leave it as default, maybe just make a little bit smaller. But if you know, the um some of them can be large as well so let's go create one more and uh, for this one we'll just go on and click and open properties and we'll pop up won't be that big but we'll make like maybe about 2.8 something around there i think this is about good size okay we also can switch shapes if you want more adjustable but again, because they're repeatable, so we can have it a quite bit large size for this. It won't be just constrained to one. Okay, so we'll leave it like this. And next, let's go just add combiner. So we'll just go add simple combiner here. Okay, and connect one to the primary, second to secondary, and we'll go to switch this to the mean. So because I'm interesting with kind of craters, not to add to the high, so we'll go this way and we'll just go to 100%. Let's preview at this point. And you can see we have it a very interesting, somewhat Swiss cheese, but it's a very good base for us because we have it large, somewhat craters, smaller inside and kind of mix. If you want to have it another one, you can create one with a very gigantic if you want bigger size, but principle will be similar. So we'll go right here and we'll start adding those by based on where I type um, noise. So let's go next. What I want, we actually want to take this and kind of proceed with um, more create craters. Um, if you remember, craters have some interesting shape. So it's what we're going to do to try to assign those. One, let's get rid of those peaks that we have on top. And we'll go inside the filters and we'll just use the clamp for this. Let's connect clamp here. And in a clamp, what we're going, it is clip some of this and we'll go take this down. And just maybe this clip a little bit. All what I want to do, you can see right in preview, right there, we're clipping those top ones a little bit off. So it's one B too high and maybe a lower let's go about here and we can take lower as well maybe just a little bit 52 somewhere around there i think it will be good okay so we'll just clipping okay let's again look what's happened right here you can see we clip them out okay next um now i want to create more look like um shape it a little bit more in a way as a craters uh, best way to do it's with the curve so we can manipulate and kind of adjusting how they look okay let's connect it open our curves and currently we have it one smooth line so what i want to do it's going up a little bit down maybe you know let's go create another one and if it does not look right we'll just go again and you can change as you want it so we can go, oops, okay, we write right here. Let's go try up, kind of like this, and just create kind of, 
So I'm look right there, a little bit too spiky. So we'll go again right there, maybe. Uh, maybe too strong was kind of adjusting. Let's go click OK and preview. So you can see we already have kind of like this creating, except right there, maybe need a little bit more steeper. Okay, we'll go, let's open curves and oops, and steeper it will be this one. So if you see, we'd go like creating already steep. And you can see right here, we create nicer, a little bit better looking. So you can play around, see which shape is working better, you know, create these kind of shapes. But overall, what I found, if we just go like, you know, a little bit edge on the side and go a little bit smoother there, maybe kind of shape again. Okay, so let me adjust this one right there. So we can create something more like crater alike. Don't worry if they don't look too much to this, um, because we always can change. Actually, you know what? This is a go a little bit too high. So I'm going right there. Going right here. And you know, just let's go right there. Okay. And let's also click a few times to smooth. And I think this will look better that more what I'm going after. Okay, play a little bit more with shapes, uh, see which one work. And next, let's add a little bit more noise to this. For this, we'll go again to generator and we'll go use it advanced Perlin noise for this. Okay, let's disconnect it. Okay, um, we open properties. Actually, before let's connect what we have here. So we'll just take this and connect to the mask of Perlin noise. You notice how it's already kind of smoothing a little bit more down because um, we adjusted. Okay, and let's bring more details. So we'll go to the heels. Let's switch to the rigid. It will add kind of more details. Um, we can pop up presence, so we'll have a little bit more noise to this way. However, we take stepness uh, down maybe 0 0.6 around that way yep and let's take elevation and bring as well just a little bit down to maybe 98 I think this is about right okay we'll go preview and you can see we have it a nice craters already appear so we even have it right here some elements from the craters okay and we'll blend more and again these options you can go with the curves and play a little bit more accurate not as fast as i did with the curves and creating more kind of into the um more look alike okay one thing i noticed it does not have it really um sand view so what is meaning it's a little bit too smooth i want to add more grid maybe rocks around there um let's do with this in the next portion of the tutorial